Hello, this is Beth from Barry Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Bitcoin. As usual, uh, we're going to start here on the daily. If you want to take a look at the longer term count, then uh, I will leave you the link uh, to that video popping up um, right here. And today we're going to start with uh, a few different counts that I said that are available uh, on the, the daily chart, and then we'll go straight into the intraday. So here, as usual, uh, either ABC like here, like, like this, sorry or ABC like this, uh, meaning that we do have a, a pretty significant bottom in place, which is uh, arguable, or else, um, sorry about that, or else the alternate is that we have di either this, a large wave four, comparing to this more, uh, you know, tiny wave four, you know, this was pretty much sharp, and this would have been sideways, or else, once again, um, nope, or else here we have a wave four completed here and uh, for their upside to come into this wave five. Uh, so as you can see, what they all have in common is that, uh, I mean, the ones with the wave four, they suggest that wave four is completed. The one with where I'm expecting a further correction. So this one is expecting that, you know, it's forecasting that we could see for the downside. So which one is going to be? Uh, I don't know, but we'll try to take a look at the one hour chart and uh, see what is happening or at least what could be happening in the intraday. So one way I had to look at it was this, which wasn't validated last time we were here. Um, and uh, I think at this point, this is possible. So if I want to remain bullish, as you can see here, and assuming we have a, yeah, let's see, we have completed here way four. So one way to remain bullish is we have a one, two, three, four. Now, what is good about this count is this is sharp, wave two was sharp, and wave four would have been sideways. Now, um, to be honest, it doesn't look like an ideal um, triangle in wave four. This obviously would be would have to be a triangle A, B, C, D, and E right here. So how do we have? How do we get involved? Uh, sorry, how do we get confirmation? we break higher during New York session, which by the way, um, New York session is going to start in less than an hour from right now. Um, now you could argue, um, and I agree with that wave two is took too much time compared to wave, um, sorry, wave four took too much time compared to wave two. <sighs> I'm going to have to say uh, possible, uh, even though from, so this was the weekend. So we know during the weekend, um, you know, from here, till here was the weekend. Um, so we know what tends to happen during the weekend, nothing. Um, and as a matter of fact, we didn't really move much. Um, but uh, I, I, I'll give you that. Uh, but at the end of the day, if we look for alternation, we do get a, you know sideways four and sharp two. Uh, but I also agree that if we label it like one, two, three, four, five, and we take this pattern here, you know, you look at this way four, and uh, you would ideally like something smaller, like this, uh, not something as it was. So I can give you that, but at the end of the day, this is still possible. Uh, so that's one way to look at it uh, for the, uh, let's say bullish, um, if, you, if, we, if we want to be bullish. Um, now, let's explore some other possibilities. So one possibility I, um, can see is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Once again, remaining bullish. Um, so let me create a new folder. Um, and here you would have, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, let's get rid of volume for a minute. Okay. A, B, C, which is, it's a question of A, B, C, uh, but possible, obviously it would be a flat right here, three, four, five. Now, um, at this point, um, remember, it's not about, uh, you know, weight, alternation between two and four, it's not about being flat and a zigzag, it's about being uh, sharp and sideways. Um, the alternation between flat and zigzag uh, is within wave A and uh, B, um, but that's a more advanced alley wave. Uh, so 
at the end of the day, this is actually possible. As you can see here, wave C it in 1.618 times the length of wave A. And uh, if we look, once again, we do the same thing. We do um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take it aside. This looks a bit better, doesn't it? Um, let's let's see if we have a fib time zones. Okay, so okay, so it's past one point six one eight. Uh, let's see where we are. Okay, roughly at two point thirty eight two. Yeah, I guess it's possible to be honest. Um, but once again, that's one another way to look at it. Now let's take a look at a bearish way to look at. Um, so let's call this um, not diagonal gonal in one. So the other way possible I see it uh, to look at it is simply. Um, so I wonder if uh, we have um, put maybe we have some sort of wave A, B and C for, um, you know, and at that point we could arise to the possibility of, um, where is it, this one. So we are within with this wave B. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, primary way, okay. And uh, here we would have A, B, C through if move and this now this is interesting you could count it as one two three four five with a questionable wave one right um, overlapping structure so it would have to be some sort of a, a diagonal in some shape or form so one two three four five six seven eight nine um, so one, two, one, two, three. I mean, expanding one, one, two, three, four, five. Would expanded diagonal work? One, two, three. Yeah, five longer than, okay. So it would work if you were to perhaps put it as a one, two, three, four. Five as an expanding diagonal, uh, which we know it's not really common, uh, but it's crypto, so it tends to be more common here and there. Um, so we have way three longer than one, uh, four longer than two, and five is longer than three, if I measure correctly. And I should have. Yes, I did. As you can see here, we passed, we're past equality. Um, so that's possible. And here you have a wave two three and here's some sort of a triangle maybe in wave four um, a, a would uh, not really uh, does it because if you have wave here a here a b c d e so it would have to be completed if you see it as a triangle in wave four and uh, this would be validation point so we'll should get an, an answer soon um, if we want to see it as a triangle wave four, or else A, B, C, or else you could see it as some. Um, um, yeah, that's one way to look at um, for some sort of wave A. Or else I wonder if you know if we are in some sort of wave B and for their upside. So as you can see, it's not really clear. Uh, if we work with the numbers, then. As long as we keep trading below 65 for the longer term, uh, there's no reason to be bullish. And right here, uh, 58, we need uh, we need to keep on providing support. Um, so we'll watch 58 because eight is a profit taking number, um, and um, 60 is a whole number, but it's not as strong. Uh, but still, you can see that 60 did play quite the role. If we draw a line at 60. All right, here, see 60,000 did play a role. So uh, as you can see here also in the past, and we're going back to the early, as you can see here 60 did play a role. Um, so 
yeah, th th that's the way I see it. Um, I'm not um, and looking to enter any position, uh, but uh, that's the way I see it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or there's the free Discord. The link is down below. You can join, ask me questions there, share your accounts, so on and so forth. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, stay updated, then highly recommend you subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.